Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. In the last episode, we got pretty far in this dungeon and we also completed another dungeon. We're making incredible time. Bombs! Surely this place is blow upable. Alright, well, that did something. Not sure what. Anti fairy. Okay, good. Oh, crap. Must just be a fast way to get back here. Guys are so strong. Ow. Ow. this. Oh, we can. Okay, well, that's not good. Crap. Just gotta stay still. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crap. Crap. Oh, mega crap. Just like Zelda, I'm gonna prioritize key. Oh, thank you very much. You saved my life. Please take me outside. Alright, but first thing first, we gotta make sure the blob boss is dead so we can't try to ambush us when we try to leave. Do not forget this item. The Titan's Mitt. Now you can lift the heaviest stones that were once impossible to budge. Make sure to leave, though. Let's see how we're doing. Alright, we're good. I think we're good. Right. 
Well, let's see, where's the boss? Oh, over there. Probably spawned since we got the, the girl of the castle. I want to get an anti fairy, though. I know it's risky, but I kind of want to just make sure I'm not at three hearts. The cat almost ended my recording again. All right. All in all, this dungeon's relatively short. Too bright! Blind, his weakness is oh, light. I believe it's also fire. Could be wrong. He's the bedsheet ghost. You wanna dodge all of his lasers and make sure that you do spin attacks. Every time you beat him, another head will spawn. Also be starting to shoot way more lasers than you, than humanly possible. Ow! He died a blind. I'm not surprised. I always game over it on this boss. Invincibility frames will guide me. That's it. Bedsheet ghost blind. Escape the evil pleasures of the evil monsters. Thank you. As wise men sealed the way to the dark world, the Knights of Hyrule defended them from their attacks of the evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the Knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has potentially become a hero of legend. Truly, you can destroy Ganon. You understand? May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. Ching. Now we gotta free this guy. Your body did not change. You're just not just an ordinary guy, are you? You still live in Kakariko Town. I wonder what am my buddies doing there without me? Request of you, please take me to my buddy. Please! For now, though, this guy's gonna be our little buddy that's gonna walk around with us. every single one, and this opens. Piece of art, just sitting there, ready for the taking. I think we only have a couple of hearts that we really need to get now. The rest are gonna be bosses. We teleport right here, though. Turns into an old dwarf man. Yes, found your twin brother. 
Happy days are here again. You found my partner. We're very happy now. Drop out here again. At the time, we will temper the sh your sword perfectly. Yeah, these twin bros will actually perfect your sword. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think there's supposed to be a reference to Mario and Luigi. Because in a lot of Mario and Luigi games, they always have a play on twins. Are you welcome? Ask us to do anything. Temper my sword. Just ten rupees. Big discount. Ah, no problem. We have to keep your sword for a while. Now you can punch the air! One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As much as Link needs to do his aerobics, I think we need to get on with our adventure here. Do not, however, try to fight anything at your current state, because if you do, you will die, because you cannot defend yourself unless you have to use a bow. You can also do a charge punch, where you just hoist your fist. The is all tempered up. Now hold it! Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body. Ask us to do anything. We can't make it any stronger than that, sorry. Our sword is now level 2. It's also now shiny and red. It's also a little bit longer. However, we are going to want this, though. Because the key is locked inside this chest. You can never open it. Just take it with you. It will follow you into reality. Do not lose this chest. If you get hit, that counts as lo losing it, so be careful. If you lose the chest, you have to pick it back up. If you don't... Yeah, you're dead. If you try to run, you will lose it. So keep that in mind. There's somebody we gotta take this to. on that hill. I heard you know what it used to be a thief, right? I'll open a chest for you. We'll keep it secret from everyone else. Will you promise? Please promise. Promise not to tell. If there's the last magic bottle, you can store an item inside and then use it later. I already promise. Don't tell me. <laughs> Alrighty. thing I want to get, though, that's around here somewhere. Just looking at the map because I don't quite remember where it is. Use our flute. Here is a cave. There's also a cave next to it. There's also a place under it. You can earn a lot of rupees by defeating, defeating enemies. It's the secret of my success. Alright, nice. Now there's a murderer down here. Maybe when we get the Triforce, we can actually do something about it. Blow this up. And there's an area in here. If you go through the other way, you'll only get to here. You open this, 
You found the ice rod. It's chill magic blast the air. Watch your magic meter. You can freeze enemies this way. It's also a optional item. Just showing everybody what's in the other room. There's a couple fairies here, which we actually need. Exactly two. Got a fairy. You can get this at any time. At least after getting the uh, regular gloves, but yeah. Before we go to the place of evil, though, we're going to actually be going and getting our HP recovered all the way up. Very important. Now we're going to the Desert of Evil! Because I believe that's where we're supposed to go next. Doink! Now bear in mind, this is... Ooh. Oops, I almost did one too early. Also, I just remembered something. We're missing an item. I believe it's a way to go. Nope. But we needed to be in the dark world again. I forgot all about this part. Um, let's see, what's the fastest way to become... Dark world. I believe it's here. Nope. Hmm. Nice fire spot. Still a fairy spot? Nope. Yeah, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Ah, thank you. They see there's a tiny circle of rocks in the lake at the source of the river. I don't know what might happen, but some, it might be fun to throw some in it. Basically, the information we already knew and we already did. I don't know. Not gonna move, because I know where that leads. Alright. We're on our way. Mm -hmm. 
All right, in order to get into this place, remember that Triforce of stuff? Yep, we have to have the gauntlets in order to actually get in there. It's one of the few required items to go into a dungeon we've seen so far. Magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. You will not be able to beat these guys unless you have the fire staff. It is your best buddy. Also, welcome to ice physics. Joy. That's all the time we have for this episode, though, so in the next episode, we're going to be continuing on. See you guys then.